So I had a little fun. I have an old laptop. It's a Latitude D400 from 2003 that a friend of mine gave me years ago. So I installed uh, Poppy Linux. I don't know how you pronounce it. Xenial Pop version onto the hard drive itself. Took a while to get there. But once on it, worked very, very well. You've got Abbey Word for word processing. And again, it all works well. Genomeric for spreadsheets, if you care about that kind of thing. It's got a new browser to me called Pale Moon, which again, works well. Um, I'm connecting on Wi-Fi. If I go to YouTube, youtube.com. As I said, the machine's a 1.4 gigahertz Pentium M. So this is probably about as slow as you're going to get. Uh, actually, I better bring up one of my own videos. Uh, just so I don't end up with anything else going on. So let's just see what we've got here. So this is the last egg and raspberry jam video, we'll go full screen. Takes a little while to catch up, but once it does, it works well. So I said it takes a little while to catch up, but once it gets into its stride, it works quite well. So you can see now that it's cut up, it's not too bad. As I said, it needs to catch up on itself before it's in a good state. But usable. As I said, the, my main purpose for this really is potentially as a um, tool for SSHing or VNCing into a Raspberry Pi. So with that, I installed the real VNC viewer for Linux. Because this one, Xenial Pop, is based off Debian. So it's got, it handles all of that. And it's an x86. So as I said, I install VLC Viewer. This is me connecting to the Raspberry Pi, which is next to it here in a, a nice Pi Top Seed. So it's a Pi 3 uh, running a relatively recent version. Haven't updated in a while. Well, you can see this works well. It comes up. It goes on to the various items. All the menus work. And you see it's coming up pretty much as quickly as on the other screen. And then to me the big test for speed is can it keep up with Pac-Man on Scratch? So I'll just see this take a little while to load up. So this is really running over there and it's connected on Wi-Fi. So not uh, a wired connection, but Wi-Fi and it's a 2G connection. So it wouldn't be the fastest in the world, but they're connecting to each other over Wi-Fi. And the Raspberry Pi You'll see it doesn't have a, an Ethernet cable in it either. That's just a, a keyboard attached to it. So this is completely being done over Wi-Fi. And if I click to full screen, you'll see it doesn't like a bit of full screen action. And I click play, space. Let's see if I can play it on the small screen. It's perfect. Perfect for playing. Seems to be exactly the same speed, no slowdown, no problems. And I'm really bad at Pac-Man. But you can see it's all working beautifully. So for SSH or VNC, um, Puppy Linux installed on a drive is nice and fast. Um, works really, really well, really, really easy. And there's a, there's a load of other utilities installed as well. Um, anybody who's looked at Puppy before will know it's got all this built in. So you can see you get Inkscape, which opens really fast and it does everything you want. So you press 5 to go full screen. 
you can go and you can change your document properties so you can change all of your information and make it all work um, it's got mpaint for a paint program um, i don't know this one very well so or mt paint so i'm not going to use it so that's it nice little introduction